When people think about reinventing themselves, they always think about what would my dream self be doing? But that puts you into the state of mind that you are not this person and this dream life will happen in the future. I love how Bridgerton showed that Penn was not aspiring to be somebody that she wasn't or some dream self. She was simply herself. It was always inside of her. She was specifically the person from her childhood before she had any knowledge about judgment from others and actually cared what others think. So when you are thinking about reinventing yourself, don't think about some future person five years from now. You simply need to look within into your past. That is going to tell you where your true passions lie because they were there before you had the judgment of others. Think about what do you want to do every day right now, not five years from now, because you have no idea what's going to happen five years from now or what your schedule will actually look like. So what do you want to do right now? And this does not have to be wake up at 5 a.m., get a workout in and make three business deals before the sun rises. I admire all of you ladies who are able to do that. That is not me. I'm not rising before the sun rises. I'm so sorry, but that is just, I mean, I may stay up to 5 a.m. I am a night owl. I'll probably go to bed at 5 a.m. Wake up at 5 a.m.? No, it's not happening. So you shouldn't be thinking about what you should do. You should be thinking about what you want to do. And there are some people who are super confused on their purpose in life or who they are. They're still trying to find themselves. They're still trying to find their purpose and what they want to do. This is a perfect time to do some self-reflection and some assessments. And I promise you, it probably lies within your childhood. What did you like to do? Everybody has something that brings them joy. And if you don't have something that brings you joy, if there's nothing from your childhood that brings you joy anymore, then either you haven't done enough things, you haven't tried enough things, or you just need to rediscover some passions. So what did you like doing when you were a child? Did you like arts and crafts? You might want to think about being an artist. Did you like playing teacher? You might want to be a teacher. I didn't like playing teacher. I had no desire to be a teacher. How did I end up being a teacher for a little while? Only the Lord knows. But what did you like playing when you were little? Did you like playing doctor? Did you like playing house? What did you like doing in the privacy of your own room when nobody was looking? It could lead you to your purpose. Children have more insight than we think. Because they just do what they want. They do not care what little Sally thinks. They don't care. They only start caring once society gets to them. Once their bullies get to them. Once their family gets to them. So what did you like doing? So your whole reinvention and glow up lies within you right now. That is the first place you need to start. It lies within you right now. What do you want to wear? If you could wear anything in the world and you did not care about the way other people looked at you, what would you wear today? Not when you lose 10 pounds. What would you wear right now if you just did not care about what anybody thought? What would you do? So the first step to your reinvention and glow up, it can start today. You can literally glow up tomorrow if you want to. It's all within you. You do not have to sit here and wait to be happy five years from now. You do not have to sit here and pretend to be some future person 10 years from now. It's already within you. You do not have to fake it till you make it. You just have to be you. You just have to be real. That's all. It's just as simple as that. It's just let the judgment go. And sometimes, guess what? Your own judgment is what's holding you back because you're already judging yourself, thinking others are judging you. And honestly, they're just trying to live their lives. 
if they're judging you is simply because they're jealous that you are sitting here living your life because in all actuality we're all out here just trying to live our own lives we're not really paying attention to you like that so do what you want do what you want I also loved how they used her as an example because everybody had already counted her out of the game. They were like, you are way too old. This is what her third or fourth time trying to find a husband. Like, yeah, they had already counted her to be a spinster. It's never too late. It's never too late to redefine yourself. It's never too late to find love. It's never too late to give up on your dreams. If it's in you, it's in you for a reason, okay? Follow it. It's never too late. Even if everybody else counts you out, count yourself in. Have the confidence to go forward and count yourself in. She didn't even get one proposal. She got two. She got two proposals. And I mean, from what, the highest, the highest, the highest bachelor, eligible bachelors, she got two proposals from the highest eligible bachelors. So all those little side men who were sitting there laughing at her, they didn't even matter. She was going to the top. She had these little itty bitty idiots laughing at her. And she got proposals from the top two people of the season. Come on now. Who, who, who are you little men? Who are y'all? Why are y'all laughing? A bum is always going to laugh. Don't worry about them. We're, we're, we're going high. Don't worry about the bums, okay? Irrelevant. Irrelevant. That is all I have for this video. I just wanted to get on here and discuss that for this four episodes. Oh my God, I already binge watched the four episodes. I am so ready for them to drop part two. I am so upset that they left us on a cliffhanger Like, she finally got happiness, and this girl is going to try to come in here and take it away from her? We would be fighting. Let her have her happiness. You don't even want to be friends with her. You left her out here in the dust. I understand she made some gossip about you, but guess what? She made some gossip about herself, too. So... Just let it be. Let it, let it, let it happen. Let it be, okay? Let her have some happiness, but I am waiting on pins and needles because I am so impatient to see the rest of the season, but I just loved the first four episodes and the tropes of what was going on. I do think that they squeezed a lot into these like four episodes because normally it's like focusing on one main couple, but then they're trying to add in the other Bridgerton girl, but to be fair... We didn't need a full season of them sitting in silence. So honestly, yeah, just go ahead and throw her in right there. Because um, if all she's going to sit there and do is sit in silence, we did not need a full season of that. But I am so excited for part two. Please let me know down below. What did y'all think about part one? And if you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.